The timing here really isn't great. DTE is changing the way it charges you for power, and some could end up with bigger bills. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Karen Drew. And I'm Pamela Osborne. Starting today, March 1st, the utility is going to charge more or less based on the time of day. Jacqueline Francis joins us live tonight. And Jacqueline, this was set into motion long before this storm, but the timing here really doesn't help. Yeah, that's right. The timing is not so great, especially for those DTE customers who just went days on end without power, because now that electricity we're all so excited to have back is going to cost you more during peak hours. The lights are back on and the rates are going up. That is during peak hours. Already customers aren't having it, especially those who've been in the dark. You don't want to know what I think about that. That's that's pretty bad. DTE made the announcement months ago and now it's going into effect. The time of day billing structure focuses on peak hours, those between 3 and 7 p.m. Right now, customers are paying between 16.9 and 18.6 cents per kilowatt hour. From October to May, between the hours of 3 and 7 p.m., the rate will stand at 16.75 cents per kilowatt hour. The rest of the day, the rate drops to 15.45 cents per kilowatt hour. In the summer heat between June and September, the 3 to 7 p.m. rate jumps to 20.98 cents. I'm on, you know, Social Security, and I can't afford that. DTE says the time of day rate allows customers to be in control of their bill and incentivizes people to use power during off hours. This new time of day rate kicks in for the first wave of DTE customers starting today, and then it will roll out to the remaining customers over the next month or so, all depending on your billing cycle. Reporting live tonight, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. I'm sure people are quite interested to see what the impact will be on their overall bill. Jacqueline, thank you.